welcome to everybody to this Fiberific Life Crafting Chat. Um, I've tweaked some things. Sorry, I hope I'm not like blowing your eardrums or anything like that. Uh, let me know if you can hear, you can see. You guys know the drill, those of you that have been here before. The chat was insane this morning. And the first thing I want to say is happy birthday, Ruth Young. And thank you for spending some of your birthday time with us. I hope that you have fun and you've had a fun day. I know it's orcs at the moment celebrating birthdays and things but we still have to mark these milestones right the sound is good awesome hey bub karen and kathy i'm just settling down i've been running around a little bit because we're spindling today so you know how we normally have like a two camera setup well today we've got a three camera setup so that you can see what i'm doing with the spindle so um a couple of things couple of things Retreat is next week. Oh my gosh, I my head is just exploding. So I'm so looking forward to hanging out with all of you who are coming to the Fiberific Retreat. We're going to be doing some photos and Instagrammy stuff. So make sure you go and keep an eye on my Instagram. Um, also, I want to say over on my Instagram, I am running a giveaway. Now, if you're just looking at my feed, it doesn't look like a giveaway because I'm stupid and I didn't put giveaway in the photo. I don't know why, but um, I, I didn't. And so anyway, there's a giveaway. It's a picture of the bags. You know, the bags that we made, it's got the yarn. So go and check that out. You have to follow Fiberific to be... Um, eligible so the rules are written in there click more on the post read everything and then just start adding all your friends because every time you at somebody it's an extra entry we have a super chat hello cakes by chopper how are you going cheers lovely cheap coffee on me oh nice i didn't bring coffee out i've been running around i got water i mean that's something but i'll have a coffee on you later for sure um I think I read something about eight days and counting. Yes, Sally is our timekeeper for this. She is our countdown clock. You didn't do the Insta disclaimer. I'll have to check that. Some, you know, this is not an Instagram competition, blah, blah, blah. So I'll have to go and check that out. Pinky Swear, Fibre Obsessed, welcome to the chat. Hello from New York, she says. Actually, that was an assumption. Um... Freaky geek, the only ones that need a lift from the airport or back again. Okay, so there's conversations happening. Because you guys were insane while I was setting up. I'm trying not to get distracted. I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, all the chat's just going... Um, it Cakes by Chopper just dropping in to say hi. It's 8 a.m. That's right, you're in WA visiting with your family and your friends. That's so exciting. I'm I'm so happy that you got to do that, Chopper. It's just, it's one of those special things that we're not all able to do at the moment and it's so special when we get to do it. So I am just chuffed that you are getting some great time with your mum oh, and the rest of your family. Um, yeah, Chopper definitely needs the coffees. I've had three. I needed three to get started this morning. It's been a hard couple of days. All right, everybody. Um, so um, there was questions about the retreat. I'm just going back just to check to see if I missed anything or if somebody said something about the retreat. Leanne says, good morning to Chantel, the mods and the live chatters. That is awesome. Uh, what goes on retreat stays on retreat. Well, I mean, and that's why I said Photos, photos, because we can, we can, you know, crop your wine bottle out, Kim. It's all good. Chopper says, nah, just a mummy's boy. <laughs> uh, Lauren, welcome to the chat. I'm glad you could make it again. Um, I'm excited to see the retreat unfold. Me too. So keep it on Instagram. Um, our sponsor posts are going to be starting as of this afternoon. The first one goes out and I will definitely be taking pics um so uh yeah there will definitely be lots of pictures happening um uh, look i may even try and spend 10 minutes live on instagram but i will have to check some th like you know I i'll see how it goes i'll have to check data and what have you but it would not be a, a it would not be a long one that's for certain 
Um, Chaos Creator says, I'm going to time lapse the whole weekend. You could just time lapse like the empty bottles of wine that you're racking up while you're there, Kim. I mean, that's really all we want to know, isn't it? Like how many people in the chat just want to know how many bottles of wine Kim can drink in a weekend? Freaky says, so if any pictures vanish here, I can blame Fibrific. She's going to be taking the pics. That's right. I will be literally taking them for sure, Freaky. Oh, my goodness. All right. So today we're going to be doing some spindling. And what do we need when we spindle? We need fluff. All right. So I've got some beautiful, beautiful Castle Dale that I've got. And some unchallenged five photos per bottle. Um, some beautiful Castle Dale that I got from our good friend Wendy Beer. She is our, um, uh, uh, she is a friend to Fiberific and a friend to me. And she runs this amazing little farm down in Victoria um, and has the most beautiful fibres and fleeces that she blends and breeds, well, she breeds them and then blends them and then sells them. Um, so it is just going to be it's just I, I did get started last night all right okay I wanted to take some photos for our thumbnail um <coughs> sorry um I want to take some photos for the thumbnail and I wanted to get that cute you know the little is it is my face in the way it's trying to focus on my face there we go see the the little pretty thing anyway I wanted to try and get that so I, I I was going there hey B Sheba is in the chat so if you have any questions about the fluff about the floofs of that is Castledale um B Sheba is here and <laughs> yeah we've got we've got a comment that's I'm, I'm gonna hide it chopper I love you to pieces I love it but I'm gonna hide that one Kim's like, I'm not touching that comment. I knew exactly which comment you were talking about. Okay, so if you've got any questions for um, for Beersheba Farm, throw them at us. Um, if you did you if you happen to have caught any of last year's big wool show, um, <laughs> the, uh, then you would have gotten to meet Wendy as well, and she took us for a walk out with the flock. It was a beautiful video, but I don't know if it's still available. Um, and But Wendy is here in the chat, so if you've got any questions, I don't know how long she can hang out for, so jump them in. The Big Wool Show, what did I say? Did I say something else? I may have. I'm like, Chopper is doing my head in. I love it when Chantel reads my comments, then judges silently if she should acknowledge them. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're not alone though. There's a couple of like comments in here that I sort of have to just be like, oh, but yours did get hidden. So nobody else could read that one. Sorry, everybody. Um, all right. Rebecca, did, did, Kim, did you change your name on here? Yes, Kim is Chaos Creator because she's just, you know, I just randomly choose somebody to call Kim in the chat. Oh, I said Big Wool Show, but you wanted to shout it. Okay, all right. That's cool. Because as we all know, Chantel's brain is melted. And sometimes what I think I've said is not actually the words that came out. So um, I had to double check. I had to double check. All right. So the other thing you need when you're spindling fluff, other than the fluff, is a spindle. Okay, so my spindle of choice today is the mini that we opened last week i was torn i was very torn actually where did i put the paperwork i can't remember the name of the the wood um i was very torn about which of the new spindles to use whether i used my um my standard glider or whether i used my mini glider and i decided to go with the mini um but i figured i was reading here and i was just like i'll just be spindling in this chat today um but then I was reading in the comments, people are talking about how they're hoping to get refreshers and things. So if you want me to start by making a leader, I've got an empty spindle here, I can do it on. Um, so, you know, let me know. Kim, I'm, Kim says I'm allergic to wool, so I'll have to admire them from afar. We, You can definitely spindle cotton and silk and the other things that you're not allergic to. So you have no excuses, lady. None. Um... 
There's an option for names in my friends of Beersheba Farm. Oh, there you go. Um, Bob Curran's currently... Oh, that's the other thing. I popped the link in to both Beersheba and to Snyder Spindles, which is where the spindle came from. They're both in the description. So go and check out Wendy's farm. She, apparently, she's just gotten a massive big pile new of, of this. It may not be on her website yet. It could be getting ready for, for some of the shows we've got coming up. Um, it's Kim says, it's not my fault anymore that your brain is melted, surely. Look, no, it's not your fault, but I take pleasure in blaming you. Like, what can I say? What can I say? So, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to see if this triple camera page thing works. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to grab a drink of water because I have to lean across in front of one of the cameras to do that. And I, I drank all my water before stream. So I just need to have a little top up. Hopefully, you know, I don't drink so much water. I need to do a be right back on stream. That would not be fun. Um, that's here. I don't like it there. I draw attention to it now. You can all never not see it again. Okay. All right. Holly, I love my nail binding needle and stitch markers. Oh, I was going to ask Holly, like, which wood did you get? Because I, I, I grabbed mine out as well. So I've got all my little, I've got my sheeps and my nail binding. I, am I saying it right? I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, nail binding. Anyway, uh, okay, let's see if this works. Our new special screen just for today. Whew, okay. Oops. Don't bash the table. It shakes the little camera. Good to know. All right, let's see how we go. So if you've got any questions about spindling or spindles, I will do my best to answer them. But something that's really important for you to all understand, and most of you already know this, is I'm not a... Um, I would not consider myself an expert spindler. I spindle for my passion. I enjoy my spindling i enjoy creating the wool and i enjoy that process in itself for me it's not a means to an end of a finished garment because those of you that follow along also understand that quite often i start a spindling project and never finish it and it's for me it's because the spindling is the end it's the it's the what I want to do. If I want to spindle, I want to spindle. If I want to knit, I want to knit. And I find spindling and spinning very, um, very relaxing. So this spindle's very light at the moment. So because it's it was only like the the twenty odd gram one. So until we get some fluff in it, it's gonna wobble around a little, which I do find a little disconcerting. So. I'm sorry if you do as well. I'm just doing the wrap, which is one over, a uh, one under, two over, one under, two over, one under, two over. As I get my hand in a bit closer, I'll try and move my other hand out of the way so you can see. Okay. All right. So it's over two, under one, and I twist it as I'm doing it. Over two, and under one, but I haven't left enough there for a hitch. So I drop that on there. Now the other thing is I'm I spin in different directions. It depends on my mood. So I have to remember which way, um, which way I'm spinning. So I am spinning by pushing today. So I and that's how I remember I'm either pushing with my finger or pulling with my finger. Now when I apply this, I'm gonna have to pull back. And then I have to and to keep spinning, I push. Okay. So push to spin. And grab the fluff so we've got Instagram competitions we've got retreats we've got mystery lace club nearly ready to walk out the door for the first time and I can't tell you how long um, so many things are happening here and today my daughter is having a birthday party this afternoon and so I don't um, uh, today's going to be chaos day honestly Vivian's asking can you wrap over one under two you can um, you'll end up with a you'll end up with a different look um, as long as you consistently do it it doesn't matter what you do it's just more of a case of that it's easier to get it off later um, 
So if you, and this is what it looks like if you do it that way. If you, so, because that's the opposite. So that's, oh no, that's still over one, under two, if I go that way. And that's over two, under one, if I'm working from that way. I don't know, I haven't tried it, Viv, uh, Vivian, because I've always done it this way, because I like this particular look. Um, but this is how I particularly like it. She didn't invite you? No, look, she only invited a couple of mates because I'm really, I'm not good with having people over and so she's only got a few people, like a couple of friends. So, but it is a party. Ruth is back. She had to pick up her grandson. We, Ruth, were you here when we all wished you a happy birthday? So, um, but yeah, I personally prefer the over two under one. Um, that was just the way I was taught how to do it. Uh, I haven't tried any other way. So, oh, she said you were too old. Oh, my goodness. She's rude, isn't she? Now, I've just realised that you could see nothing in any of the camera angles because I dragged, I leant back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this one on and then I'm going to push my chair forward a bit so I'm not so tempted to lean back. So bear with me while I sort myself out a little. Not used to this camera angle. It's new. I set it up this morning just for you guys just so we could all see what's going on over two under one now is everybody nobody wants me to show how I make my leaders or anything like that so a leader is the first little bit that you put on some people literally have a piece of yarn that they use I'm just I'm sitting on the literally on the edge of my seat so I'm just gonna pull my seat forward and hopefully this puts me in a naturally more in the spot spot. Hopefully. Fingers are crossed. Um, Pinky Swear says, I love spinning with my drop spindle, but it has been on the back burner because I've been teaching myself to knit. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. Are you knitting with your own spun or are you using commercial spun for your learning? Um... Good morning, Sally. Welcome to the chat. Chintamani, I haven't looked up any other ways either. Chintamani is a avid Turkish spindle spinner, um, which is the type of spindle that this is. It's a Turkish spindle. Um, now, I don't want to get into any controversial hot topics, but I actually don't know if it's legitimately from Turkey or not, or if it's just a made up thing like the Andean plier thing. It's not actually how they ply um, in the Andes. So I didn't know that. I'd always assumed that the reason they named it something like that was because it was named after you know, the place of origin, but seems not. Seems they just randomly name things, things. So I don't know if this is actually made in Turkey or not. Like if it was actually the Turkish spindle or if they just call it Turkish because it was foreign. Because um, we know that that happens, especially in the British Empire. Um, Pinky Swear says I'm using commercial, but have been spinning project in the works for a knitting project. Awesome. B. Shiva says, plenty of castle day undyed in the shop. Just bought back a load from the mill. I had to clear the shed because shearing is next month. Oh, my goodness. How many have you got in your flock now, B. Shiva? Um, and so you've got your castle dale flock and you've got a Drysdale flock as well. Is that, is that right? Um, sorry, I'm holding multiple conversations. So if I get a bit flaky, we know why. It's because I'm flaky. Um... Chintamani says Chantel got me addicted to ply on the fly. I love ply on the fly, honestly. Um, I definitely prefer to do that one standing up though, which is why I don't usually ply on the fly on camera. Um, I normally just spindle fluff because getting a full shot is awkward when you're the one with the camera, like there's no one zooming in or anything like that because all of this is just me. There's no team. It's just me watching, making sure all the cameras are working and, and things like that. So if you spot something that's going wrong in a camera, you need to let me know and I can try and fix it because sometimes I get sucked into the craft and don't always watch all the monitors properly. 
whoops, sorry, I realised I've done it again. Take my hand away. Over two, under one. Um, Chintamani says it actually is from Turkey. Well, that's good, Chintamani. I'm glad to hear that. And thank you for confirming that for me. Probably something I should have looked up. Um... My goal is, to, uh, Pinky Swear says, my goal is to knit a shawl with the hand spun wool, then go to my local sheep to shawl festival wearing it. That's an awesome goal. I love your goal. That is a fantastic goal. Mac, if you don't mind, we've got a group over on Facebook and we'd love to encourage you. So if you want to join the Fibrific Fun Zone, if you're not already a member, and, and you, we can encourage you and, and see how you're going. And, and if you need any help with anything, there's heaps of really talented people in there who make lots of things. So if you need any help, there's always a group around who can possibly chime in with some suggestions for you. Um, so Beer Sheep says, less than 200 Castledale sheep exist. I also have Merinos, English Lesters and Drysdales. Oh, mate, that's beautiful. So how many sheep in total are you running? And do you keep all your sheep separate? Like do they have different paddocks? Um, or do they all just hang out together? Um, where are we looking? Kim's just popped in a link to the Fibrific group. Thank you, Kim. Or Chaos Creator. Okay, Kim says, I'm there, but my advice is not to be trusted. I mean, it, she's right about that. So, you know, no. Kim's advice is normally pretty spot on. She's a very clever lady and very talented in, in a lot of different crafts. Um, but maybe not spinning. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what's your favourite fibre or favourite fibre combo to spin? Oh, that's a tough one. Look, I'm going to have to say I'm a bit obsessed with Duchess, which is from Beersheba, and it is this Castledale, but it's also blended with a little bit of silk, because I do love silk. Um, here in Queensland, it's subtropical here. Um, so I don't get to wear a lot of wool, so I do tend to spin quite finely um, and go after um, like lace weight shawls and, and things like that. And then when I'm off to Bendigo, which is a bit more temperate, um, is, is, is that considered temperate down there? I don't know. Anyway, it gets cold in winter, actually gets cold. We don't get cold in winter up here. It's like, oh no, it's so cold. I need a long sleeve t-shirt and socks with my thongs. Um, and, um, and so, you know, when I go to Bendigo each year, I like to make sure I've got something a bit thicker, a bit sturdier, but for the most part, I, I like to spin very finely. So I like, I like good fine wools, um, marine, merino is nice. I don't mind merino. Um, I don't like merino for big garments. I find that it gets a bit pilly. Um, I do prefer a, a slightly hardier wool, but still with softness. Does that make sense? Hardier, but with softness. I think that's why I like Castledale. Because it's still soft, but I haven't had any problems with any of the things I've made out of it get all pilly. So, you know, it's got, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. You need a swivel chair for Kim's next visit so you can teach her to spin. I don't know if Kim actually wants to learn to spin. Kim has a lot of, a lot of um, crafts and passions already i don't know if spinning if spinning something she we've had the discussion i'm pretty sure she doesn't want to learn to spin she's just trying to you know be diplomatic um beersheba so for a hundred dollars a year i can sign up to the chocolate lily level and be sponsoring a sheep what is this that you speak of there are sheep sponsorships happening over at beersheba farm chintamani says i've also seen a turkish spindle variant called the aegean Ah, nice. I'd love to see that. Do you have one or you just saw one? Oh, she doesn't need the wool. Just spin her in the chair. Okay, sorry, freaky. I didn't get the joke straight away. I'm a bit tired, all right? I haven't slept well for the last couple of days. My brain's been all like, you've got 19,000 things to do and you're not on top of anything. Good luck having a sleep now. Bye-bye. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sally says she can always try it next weekend in eight days. 
Oh, it's going to be amazing. I've got some people coming that I haven't seen in a really long time. Um, a good friend of mine is coming who actually taught me to my very first spinning lesson is going to be there. And she's a phenomenal spinner. Um, those of you that are going to retreat, I'll introduce you there. She doesn't normally come and hang out in any of this sort of stuff. She's pretty private. So, um, yeah. Where are we? So this morning, little Louie was hypo. So those of you new, Louie is our newest family member. He is a have a poo, have an ease, miniature poodle um, cross. Is lots of poodle, I think. Um, he's got all long poodle legs and he's very bouncy and and but he is yappy like a havanese. Um, I'm like the one havanese trait. Good job. Anyway, <laughs> um, this morning he's just been an absolute nightmare. Just crazy talk. Just crazy. Just running around like a loon. He's found somewhere muddy to go and just run through. And then he comes and jumps on the couches. And we have cream couches, which seemed like a good idea at the time. Not today. Let me get some twist in there. Hey, Lisby, welcome to the chat. Um, have I ever tried a Russian spindle? And if so, what do I think about it? I love Russian spindles. Um, I think they're fantastic. I um, am predominantly a support spindle spindler. Don't say that after five wines. Um, and I love uh, a Russian spindle. I think they're beautiful as long as they're well made and they're balanced. And, and I think that's the case for every kind of spindle. As long as it is balanced and well made, it will be an enjoyable experience. Um, I do love... a. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just thinking about my support spindle collection and majority of them are Russians. Um, I do have some Tibetans and I have a couple of Fangs, um, but I definitely prefer the Russian. So, yeah. Um, and because I def, I, I, look, because I like to spin, you know, 100 grams, and 100 grams this fine. This isn't the finest you can spin, but this is about my normal. This goes a really long way. And so, you know, 100 grams takes me a long time to spindle. This this bag is 400 grams. I don't intend to spindle spin all of that. Um, so, yeah, it's just definitely one of those personal preferences. But I do like a Russian. I, I also prefer spindles that don't have a metal nib. Um, because I have timber spinning bowls and I like timber spinning bowls and the metal nib scratches up the timber. So, yeah. So, uh, it's not going to auto focus because I've got it focusing down lower. It's probably going to come up to a, you know, a good lace weight. Um, like a, a heavy lace weight is probably where this is going to end up. I've got a bit too, too chunky bit here. To get rid of the chunky bits, you actually just untwist it the other way, take the twist out and draft it a bit more and then let the twist back in again. And then you can pull it back out and let the twist back in again. And hopefully that fixes it up enough to make you happy. Otherwise, you will just need to pull it out and rejoin on, which is no biggie. Some people do not like rejoining. It's not my favourite. I would prefer just to keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. But, you know, at some stage you've got to rejoin. So you may as well learn how to do it. So we're nearly at a rejoin point. Um, you guys have just gone on a total tangent in the chat, haven't you? It's freaky. I'm blaming you on that one. <laughs> Hey, two Arctic Wolves, Christine, welcome to the chat. It's been a while. Were you Actually, were you here last week? You may have been here last week. My brain is d totally gone. Um, we're talking about waterbeds. Oh, my gosh. I think I've slept in a waterbed once. My auntie had one in her spare room, and it was weird. I did not like it. I always felt like I was being eaten by the bed. All right, time to join on some fluff. So you want to make sure you've got some 
wispy bits. Te technical term, wispy bits. I have very warm hands. See how you can see it's actually a little bit pink and it's quite warm, okay? It is also hot. I mean, actually, it's not hot here today. It's not that hot. But my hand gets very hot holding the wool. And so heat plus moisture, which if my hand gets overheated, guess what happens? Um, heat plus moisture equals felting, which makes spinning really near impossible. So I personally only pull out the smallest, like I pull out one staple length. That's it. That's all I pull out, okay? Because if, if that felts in my hand, that's a tiny amount. If a big chunk felts in my hand, I feel like it's a waste. So I personally just pull out these small amounts, okay? Now, if you are a distaff spinner, you've got like, so that's a, a little tool that you can use to wrap your woolen fiber around it so that you only are touching the bit that you're working with. I've got one. I'm still learning how to use it. I, I think it's awesome, but I'm not comfortable with it, if that makes um, any sense at all and I think I, I need to practice more because I think it could be something that really helps and so this is a personal preference okay so when I'm wheel spinning it's a bit different because I can rest fiber on my leg and I'm only holding a little bit I will quite often just spin straight off the end of here and just hold this and sort of feed it in and spin it and not break it off so much but when I'm spindle spinning I end up holding it like this a lot which creates a lot of heat so I don't I don't like to hold lots now Game Widow is saying here she pre-drafts so she doesn't end up with the sweaty felty lumps I've learned for myself even if I pre-draft I still get the sweaty felty lumps so this is just something I've done for myself that makes my life a little bit easier but you just try what you're happy with you don't have to do it the way I do it this is just how I do it and it may in fact not be how you like to do it so you've got to try all the different ways to work out which way is good for you um where are we Bishiba says luckily for you the castle day doesn't felt quite as insanely fast as marino marino is insane um pinky swears says that they rest their fiber on the back of their hand while spinning um, I, I find that like, 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 are you talking about like doing it sort of like that? Like, obviously if you had more, it would fold down easier. I find my hand still gets overheated. Um, and, but that's just my personal preference, but I've tried that also. And that's how I'm sort of doing it with the distaff. And that seems to be working with the distaff, but not any other way, if that makes any sense. So I'm still learning and I'm still trialing things to see which ways work better for me. So I've just pinched it here added some twist and I'm going to draft it because I just want a little bit because that's a, quite a lumpy chunky and let the twist travel in and see how that bit there is really thick I'm going to untwist it and give it a I need to untwist it some more there's a lot of twist in there there we go because this is the right at the end that's that little lumpy bit okay now normally I don't draw such attention to it and I can just do it sort of quite quickly but I was so the join is here. See that you can just see a little slight tuft. Now some people join beautifully and you can't tell where their joints are. I can always tell where my joints are. But I'm not worried about it because if I wanted like a machine perfect yarn, guess which yarn I'd be using? Commercial yarn because it doesn't take 27,000 years to do anything. So 11 billion spins later, because what happens is once we spin it, that's not the end. Then you have to ply it, which is where two bits that you've spun together get spun in the opposite direction because that makes them stable and nice and secure. Um, oh, wow. Lisby says I pre-draft and that's what I wrap around my hand. Yep. When I'm using a distaff, I pre-draft as it before I put it on the distaff. Um, Freaky says I try that fiber on the back of my hand, but it gets caught up in the hairs. It really bugs me. Not so much a problem I've had to deal with, honestly.
Kayla says, I want to sponsor a sheep. So how much is it a year to sponsor a sheep, Chaos Creator? Because you've obviously been looking into it. So what are the advantages of sponsoring a bear sheba sheep? And do you get to pick a breed or is it just randomly chosen? I want to sponsor a sheep and name it Chaos. What happens at the end of the year? You don't get to eat the sheep if that's where you're going. They're not them kinds of sheeps. So I did not leave enough there for a leader. There we go. Um, I also did lots of dog hairs, but yeah, when I crochet and knit, my hair always ends up in it. I try not to craft too much around the pets, but they're in my house. They're not out here, which is, you know, one of the reasons why I try not to let them out here too much is so that, you know, I've got an idea. Um, if you choose the chocolate lily sheep buddy option, you can decide which sheep. Um, you'll get an update on your sponsored sheep as well as a kilo of their fleece at shearing time. Your sponsorship will help cover their feed, maintenance and veterinary cost of your chosen sheep. Oh, that's such a cool idea. I love this. I like it a lot. Lisa says, mine sit in my lap while crafting. When I'm crafting inside, Louis sits next to me. Um, Snowy sits on the floor and Tibbles, the cat, he's just like, whatever. And he's up high somewhere glaring at everybody judgmentally because that's what he does. A kilo of fleas. That's right. It's a kilo of fleece. Did you write fleece? Did I say fleas? Um... Do you find yourself using, Chintami's asking, do you find yourself using the su su spindle support style when the thread breaks? Oh, absolutely. One of the things I love about Turkish spindles, and, and this is because I don't like drop spindles, funnily enough. Um, I am a support spindler, and part of it is my arm is heavy because it's enormous. <laughs> and so my arm gets tired of, like, holding everything up. Um, no, it's too short. Um, and so, yeah, I quite often, the thing to remember is, uh, do I have a bowl handy? I probably do. These spindles also have a spike on the bottom. Like most drop spindles are normally just cut off and they're flat. But this has a spike on the bottom. So you can actually use it in a bowl. Now, something that I didn't know and learnt here in a live stream was that if you're using a bowl and your little arms are banging into the bowl, you can actually build your spindle upside down. So instead of the arms pointing down, they point up. And that way it can still just load just like normal, but it doesn't, um, but it doesn't hit the bowl. And so you can totally use these as a um, support spindle as well. They don't have to be used as a drop spindle. Um, and so, and so, yeah, I will, I will go between the two. Um, I've got, a, this is a pretty, this is actually my ironing mat. This is my Cricut ironing mat. Um, I had my mouse pad down, but I just thought it was a little distracting. So I went with the Cricut ironing mat because it was like right there, single color, not black. Um, we've learned not to use black under the cameras, especially with white fleece and things like that makes all the cameras crazy and I actually destroyed a webcam. Funnily enough, I destroyed this webcam here, this one here, which is why I bought this one up here. There you go. Um, but this one seems to be fine as long as I don't put anything too, too contrasty, if that makes sense. So like black and white and things like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Talia says be she but from what I understand about sheep chaos might be a very appropriate name um, 
Yep. 2.2 pounds is a kilo, yeah. Uh, actually, I sp should sponsor a kid instead of a lamb and put it in the same paddock and let it just go around ahead butting all the lambs. I mean, I've got a kid that I could just do that with. Do I need to sponsor it or just pay for her airfare? <laughs> um... Missing the chat here. Opposite corners, absolutely. That's what the um, the mute button's for, guys. Just saying. The timeout for 300 seconds. So have you all liked today's l live stream? And if you are new here, have you subscribed to Fiberific to catch our weekly live streams doing all sorts of crafts? Knitting, crocheting, spinning, sometimes dying. It's been a while since we've died, but, you know, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Just not next week. Next week is going to be crazy. Next week I'll be getting ready to go on retreat the next day with the Fiberific on retreat 2021. First Fiberific retreat. So exciting. We've got a bunch of about 20 intrepid travellers coming to hang out and craft for the weekend away and be catered to and looked after by the amazing Leone at Stacy's at the Gap. Next week is a retreat like, well, no, because I'll still be here. We don't leave until the day after. No, Patrick is an alpaca. We all know who Patrick is, right? If you don't. You need to check out Patrick TikTok Alpaca. Is it Mally Boy? I don't know. I can't think of the TikTok handle. But he's got this, he's a farmer and he's got lots of, he's got, you know, fields and sheep and cattle and and this one alpaca who is, is just naughty. Patrick likes to eat all the feed. I'll I'll grab a, someone can grab a link to um Pat, to Mally Boy on TikTok and throw it into the Fiberific Fun Zone. <laughs> You're a creeper, aren't you, Patrick? Yes. So how are these camera angles going? Are they working for you guys, or or do I need to tweak anything, or are you happy enough? Um, do you, do you want me to do something else? Like, are you having a good time? Um, yeah, As, has Patrick got his own TikTok now? I think Mally Boy was thinking about trying to set up just a Patrick TikTok at one stage. I don't know if it ended up happening. Um, okay, we are got a teeny tiny bit of fluff. It's probably not quite enough. Not quite sure why YouTube thinks that Patrick Go Back to Your Goats should be moderated, but it did. Um, looks good to you, John. Awesome. Um, Pink, Pinky Swears just followed on Instagram. Awesome. Don't forget Pinky Swears that there's a competition running over there, that, the, um, that there's a photo there with some project bags in it. And you can go in for a chance to win those. The prize includes worldwide postage. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are because it's obviously late for you. So um, it's been lovely having you here. I'm just trying to have a cheap time to spend a grand replacing a water tank pump. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's not fun. You know when you spin too much and then you've got to wind it all on except your arm's not quite long enough to hold it taut? Because if you have to hold it under tension when you're winding it because if you don't, it just starts going back on itself. So you've got to hold it under tension while you wind it on. Like not too tight, just enough so that it's not kinking back on itself. Also, I'm not the best at this winding gig. <laughs> 
Some people end up with the most, Chintamani is one, ends up with the most gorgeous patterns of their, of, especially when it's a, a multicolored um, or a, you know, like a, an ombre or, or gradient. Um, we're just talking about farm animals YouTube it's okay yeah like while well, we spin sheep's fleece so it's not like it's off brand for us talking about animals yeah Patrick is female absolutely um, Game Widow says wow looking at Mally boys pics makes me homesick yeah he has a fun TikTok Sometimes he just yells at the TikTokers, which cracks me up. I'm not doing a dance. I am a farmer. <laughs> Bub says my turtle's not pretty. No, my turtles are normally not pretty. I'll see if, here we go. We'll see if we can get a nice. No, that's not going to do it. Let me see. There you go. That one's a better shot. The problem is I've got them both set to a focus point and they're not on autofocus. This guy's on autofocus. Hang on. What I'll do is I'll change camera angle. Single camera. All right, let's check out the status of our turtle. It's, I mean, it's neat. It's, it's neat enough. No judgment here. It's neat enough. Kim says, I own a sheep now. I mean, you sponsor a sheep now. You don't own a sheep. <laughs> uh, um, Chintamani says, fake it till you make it, wind it any old way and just be super fancy on the final layers. Uh, is it turtly enough for the turtle club? Look, I don't know if it is totally enough for the Turtle Club. You'd have, like, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I know that's a joke from somewhere and I can't place it. Looks good. No rules. Love it. No rules. Because we're not the fibre police here. We're not the knitting police. We're not the anything police. We craft because we love it. Do we get what we want with our end goal? Yes. Then it's done. If we're not happy with it, try something else. Learn something new until you're happy with it. <laughs> actually, it says, actually, the PayPal didn't think work. Ah. Oh. Kim's going to pop up a link. Um, to sponsor some beer Sheba sheepies. Now, if you are sponsoring a beer Sheba sheepy from International, just remember that it's usually raw fleece that is shipped. So you might just need to make arrangements so that whatever she ships you will go through customs, okay? Lauren says amen to that. I'm assuming it's amen to the not the knitting and fiber police. Absolutely. We're here for a good time, you guys. We're here to make crafting fun. Is there a spot on the top of that spindle that holds the fiber? Are you like are you talking about like there's a little there's a little divot here? Technically you can wind a cob on. When I am um when I am plying on the fly, I wind a cob before I wind it onto the bottom, if that's what you're talking about. Um, otherwise, I just find it easy enough just to, to just spin a bit, wind a bit, spin a bit, wind a bit. I know for some people that they would rather just spin for ages and wind a cob. I'm just going to cl clear my hands out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I have another spindle here. So see on this one, winding a cob is just winding onto the shaft so that it doesn't pop off the end. Um, and so here on this particular one, I'm doing what's called ply on the fly. So I spin a bit and then I um, chain ply it. And then after I've chain plied it, I wind it onto the spindle. I don't, which camera will show that it's plied? 
that one's showing it's plied. See how that down the bottom once it's wound, that's plied. So that's because I spin a bit, wind it onto a cob, then I butterfly it off into my hand, and then I chain ply that, and then so I've got to really remember which way I'm spinning and plying because I do a bit of spinning, then a bit of plying, then the winding. Okay. But I personally prefer, and again, it's totally personal, especially with these little minis. They only have a short shaft on them. The, the standards have got a longer shaft. Um, some of these big, this was a big one. It's This one's got um, some cutouts on it. It's T-Rexes. It's an in-joke. It's because my arms are short and I can't reach anything. Um, so it, this is a heavier spindle and it's got a longer shaft. So it's taller, again. Um... But different strokes for different folks when it comes to your, your tools. And that's why we have multiple spindle makers and spindle brands and all that sort of thing. Um, uh, Aussie Land Sheep, just send the raw fleece to Fiberific for spin. No! No! And no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back to the spinning. <laughs> you send me your fleece. I just go, thanks for the fleece. <laughs> oh, mental note, pack the T-Rex shirt. Oh, great. There's going to be T-Rex jokes now, isn't there? I forgot that you guys didn't all know about the T-Rex thing. I'll be like, thanks so much for that fleece, you guys. Well, it's still got to be like, I mean, if someone washes your fleece, it can just be sent through, like as long as it's been scoured, um, you can have, it can be sent through once it's been washed and you just send it through as spinning fiber or clean fibers. Whoever said send it to Fiberific Nice Dry, I think it was John. Oh, my aircon's now blowing really cold air on me. It's like, dude, please, it's I'm chilly here. I'm trying to work out a winding method that keeps everything in all the cameras. <laughs> it's not working for me, honestly. It's really not. Oh dear. Um just put a photo up of my nearly ready to apply again. On Facebook using a mini glider you got a mini glider too I love the mini gliders I am such a tragic um, fan of Snyder's Turkish spindles look he doesn't just do Turkish spindles he also does um, I'm gonna destroy it Dielkins they're a Scottish spindle they're very very interesting to use it's a different spinning technique um, so yeah, it's definitely um, that he does those. He does drop spindles with the most amazing laser etch artwork on them. Um, he's a bit of a 3D, 3D printer extraordinaire. And he had these Destiny spindles that came out. They were pretty cool. I've got one of those, which is made out of plastic. It's, it's, it's 3D printed. And you could choose which color arms you had. <clears throat> and because of how it's made, you could, instead of how these ones are, where they're two pieces so you've got you know two arms these ones had four arms that were that you click together and um, so I have got four different colored arms on mine um, Chintami says I have four or five mini gliders I, I look I was trying to get all my um, Scott Snyder spindles together for a family photo um, and I have a glider in the house that does not have a signature on the bottom of it and it's perplexing me because I could have sworn it was a Snyder spindle but he always signatures his spindles so I have to have a I'll have to have a check through uh, the invoices of my purchases luckily Etsy keeps a history <laughs> and I can just check it um, I did buy this mini I think I got this one actually from someone in Australia was selling some of his spindles and I think I got that from them 
um, but I think everything else I bought directly from Snyder Spindles. So the link that I have got in the description, if you follow that to Snyder Spindles, um, it's, it's actually an Etsy affiliate link that I've somehow managed to apply for and be approved for. I don't know why they they normally only have big people, but you know, they, they were like, okay, whatever's. Um, so what that'll do is I'll get a small commission on that one. Um, at, and it's taken out of the Etsy fees that Scott's already paying. So it's no additional cost to Scott either. So, um, Stacy says my spindles the writing rubs off. Oh, maybe I used it and the writing rubbed off. Like, because I did use that one a fair bit. I didn't think the writing would rub off. I might have to make sure I give the little writing bits a lacquer coat. I love that they've got his name on them. And the weights. I love knowing at a glance what the weight is. So as this one's getting slowly loaded up, it's, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but it's actually getting more stable and it's not, swinging around quite so crazily as it was um, and it's just because it needed a, just a little bit more weight on it now if I started with that bit more weight on it which some of these are heavier um, I probably it, it, I struggle to spin as fine and it takes I have to think about it more even now to get the same thickness I really have to concentrate um, because the spindle weight pulls on the fibers and can actually um, be too heavy and pull it apart before you have a chance to spin it. Hey, Scott Snyder is in the chat. So if you want to ask any spindle questions, he's your man. Um, we're, we're, we're loving all over your spindles here, Scott. Oh, I knew that was going to happen there. I could see it. So I made it too fine and it had a little hissy fit. And now I've got to rejoin. Um, oh, I suck at signing sometimes. Okay, so we're blaming you. Right, I, no problems. There we go. Pull that bit off. Join on here. Um, pushing for spinning. Sorry, I have to say it to myself. It's how I remember. Um, Does Scott know that that emoji is an elbow cough, not a dab? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what he knows, to be honest. I actually assumed it was a dab, honestly, because I'm old. Oh, you guys, I saw this funniest TikTok. It was this woman who was like, okay, okay, young people, tell me what this means. And she's just doing this, like, arm movement. And she's like, because to me, it looks like you're saying you're a drug user. You're a drug... And, and like, she's like, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's a good thing. Please somebody tell me what it means. And it was just like a ice in your veins, cold as, like totally focused kind of thing. And the comments were just gold. It was so funny. It was just so like all these all these people like, we're all, I'm old too. I'm here for the comments. I need to know what it means as well. And it was just so funny. It used to be a dab. Ah, oh, but it has changed its meaning now. That happens sometimes. I saw you liked one of my TikToks. I may have liked a few of your tip tops, if that's who you're talking, if you're talking to me. Um, Ruth is asking Scott, which is the easiest to use of his spindles? What we might have to do one time, um, Wendy and Scott, is set up I'll set up a different stream setup where we can have you in as a guest and where you can we can chat with each other rather than you type in chat but I don't have I'm not running that software right now otherwise I would like legit send you just a link to jump in but I do have the software and we can do this we have the technology oops let's just move my piece of fail out of camera Um, I would have more spindles but the postage of anything from the US is ridiculously high which means I have to save up for them Chintamani we should totally 
buy together because I normally buy my spindles in pairs because it works out much better value to order two. So if we ordered four, it would work out even better, right? Or even if we ordered two together, then we could just have one each and not be all like, um, you know. Snyder, Scott, Scott saying, I like larger to start with, like the full size gliders. Of um, so hang on, I, I've got a, I've got a, a standard glider here. Just because this is a mini that I'm using right now. Um, I have to say I love the gliders. I think the gliders are phenomenal. I love how their little arms hold on to everything. And I love how um, they spin. All right. So that's this is a mini. And this is a full size. So, it, it, you know, weight-wise, this one's 32 grams and this one is 14 grams. So it's got a bit more weight to it. Um, so, yeah, so that's your difference in your sizes. Um, yeah, I, I actually agree. Like, there's a limit. You don't want to go too big or too heavy. Big is good. Heavy is bad, in my opinion. And again, my opinion. Um Big is good because it means you, you've got, you know, you can hold on to it more. You've got more movement that you can do and it's more forgiving. Um, it also bounces better if you drop it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it is definitely, um, definitely easier to use a larger one to start with. Um, I like the small ones because then I can throw them into a little, um, like a little pouch easier. Um, they're easier to transport. Um, Chintami puts hers into like um, uh, travel mugs. So she sits, uh, you know, a bit of fluff and a spindle in a travel mug and off she goes. She's got spinning with her all the time. And because especially these, you can walk along spinning. Um, I've seen some beautiful footage of Chintamani spindling on the beach, which I just think is beautiful. Um, and big is really good for ply. Yes, I agree. I like definitely like having a bigger one to ply. Because if I make two mini turtles, it's not going to fit on one mini. I'm going to have two pieces of the spun yarn. Whereas if you do it onto a larger one, you um, you definitely uh, can. Well, definitely you should be able to fit both turtles ply together onto a larger one um, at a pinch. Anyway. Um, Freaky says, you mean I'm not the only one who treats the Turkish like a drop? No, you're not. And technically speaking, even though I'm sitting, I'm technically dropping. Because um, if I'd be doing the exact same movements if it was down the side, that's much harder to film. So I'm doing it up above the table. But when I use these, I normally twist and do it off the edge of a chair or very unladylike lean forward and do it down between my feet. Um, so, yeah. Uh Laura is saying, I've just received my spindles a couple of days ago and I'm trying them out right now. That is awesome. Rebecca says, I really want to try a mini. The minis are gorgeous. I prefer the mini gliders over, over these guys. Um, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I think it's because, like, look at the difference in the arm lengths. And, like, me having short arms, I know having long arms is important. Um, so I find that I can fit more onto the mini glider than I can onto one of these minis. But these guys are tiny and equal and cute. Like, look, it's so small and adorable. I had to have it, honestly. Um, and I've got my T-Rex. I love my Rex. Um, I've got a couple more around somewhere. Who keeps track of all their projects? Not me. Um... Chintami popped a photo up over in the fun zone of her mug. Um, I really want to, yeah. I love my titchy teeny Turkish. Chintamini, you're right. They do just feel right. Um, I love the Snyder glider. The Snyder glider. Did you, you did that on purpose, didn't you, Scott? I can imagine you guys sitting there. What are we going to call it? The Snyder glider. Um... 
again I'm just pulling out one single um, staple just checking something here um, sorry I thought I'd muted everything but it turns out that my iPad which is over there somewhere is not muted and it pinged um, Laura says they are Snyder spindles that's right Snyder spindles rock um, and I just love that the quality is always there I mean and you can choose all different woods and and you know like I don't know I, I just love everything Akadaka there you go Scott Akadaka I've said it again apparently I say Akadaka differently than than people not in Australia Akadaka funnily enough my daughter was wearing an Akadaka shirt yesterday I'm just joining on that's why I'm like so high up here um because I just want to get well past the join before I try and wind Alright, Scott's probably like, oh my god, she's such a, a clumsy spindler. So clumsy. Um, and but it's one of those things like when no one's watching, it's fluid and it's graceful. And the second someone's watching, it's lumbering and it's a nightmare. <laughs> oh dear. And you know, the downside of live streaming stuff is I know there's someone watching. Snyder says we only say ACDC here. Oh, there you go. Okay. It's only because you're on camera. That's right. That's exactly right. St I nearly called you Stacy then. Don't know why, Kim. Don't know why. Chintamani says, I find my tendency to overspin is reduced on spindles. Um, okay. Well, yeah, because you have to, I have to actually remember to add extra twist um, on my spindles because I'm an underspinner. Scott saying I drop plenty live. Oh, well, that makes me feel better, Scott. Um, Laura says, it's because of seeing a video of yours a while back that I spin with a support spindle. Oh, there you go. That was a while ago, that one. I've really got to get back into making those ones. I love making... I'll tell you why I don't make very many spinning videos. Whether it's spinning or spindling or wheel spinning or whatever, it's hard getting the good camera angles when there's not someone focusing and things like that. Um, like when there's not someone else on the other end of the camera and I really struggle with getting it good and so because it's just me I've got a camera here that's sitting by itself there's a camera here that's sitting by itself there's a camera there that's sitting by itself and I'm out of the corner of my eye watching a monitor here trying to make sure that you can see everything but I'm also watching the chat so if you guys spot something icky happening I need you to tell me um but yeah, it's just it's just one of those things that I struggle with making it good. And because I'm struggling to make it good, I don't bother because it's like, well, other people have made it good. Um, Chaos Creator says you need a head mounted cam, but then you have to not move your head. Oh, no, I move my head around way too much to have a, um, a, a head mounted camera. At least you've moved on from calling me Tammy or Andrea yeah absolutely and i think that like because i am used to support spindling when i'm winding i tend to rest it on a surface to wind um I, it's just i don't always i do sometimes oh yeah i'm totally butchering up this turtle wind it's total trash Turtle trash. See what I did there? Because I clever. Um, you need a boom arm over your shoulder in front of you, but then it would get in your way. Yeah, and like, and that's the thing. Like, there's there's many angles that I could try and get, but 
see see this this shot here I like it to be free of cameras and microphones and I like a clear shot right and if I had a camera coming in over my shoulder I would have to put it on a rig on the ceiling and then it would need to be a really good camera so it could zoom in nicely because <laughs> I'm fussy and that's why I haven't done it that's why I haven't done it um, and I probably should just be less fussy and understand that you guys don't mind how I do it because I know that I get messages and I know that you don't mind mostly um, so yeah my small person said I needed to say hi hi Talia hi Talia small person um, Scott says my turtles are messy unless I'm taking a picture and I think that's like is that the reality for a lot of people like they their turtles are just whatever until they go to take a photo but to me it's just like it could just be it's just so pretty they're just so pretty I love that really neat sort of winding that some people just do inherently I'm like it's done Woo <laughs> so it's like yay it's on there over two under one over two under one over two under one and like the best way to tell if you've been doing it right or doing it this way hang on over two under one right as I've just done one purposefully incorrectly is if you've been doing it correctly which at some stage I have not look at that I've just realized I've done one that way already I didn't have to fake one that's not going to make that much difference really it does to me because I'm looking at it going how far back is that can I go back and fix that <laughs> that's where my brain just went um, so normally that line wouldn't be there and that's how you can tell if you're getting your top wrap right um, but it doesn't actually matter that much really in the scheme of wrapping it's just an aesthetic but sometimes aesthetic is nice right um Chintana says mine were messy as hell then I gradually gradually got neater which surprised me no end and like this is the thing I spindle occasionally Chintamani spindles all the time like I would say you daily spindle would, would that be a good description Chintamani and Scott you would not quite get a chance to daily spindle either I can imagine but you would try to daily spindle as well um, I, I have to say this castle dale feels amazing to spin the small human is giggling now oh um, <laughs> I'm so not reading that out freaky it's hilarious but I'm not reading it out obsessed daily spindling from Chintamani yeah oh here we go about to get the arctic blow again from the air conditioner is about to get me I hope that that mic is not too loud I have tried to maneuver the mic around a little bit bring it a bit closer to my face I'm annoyed that I can't do it while I'm driving do you know what I don't like I don't like that I can't knit while I read a book and I know of a lady that used to knit while she read and I don't know how she does it and I, I just I can't knit while I read and I wish I could so I tend to listen to audiobooks so I can knit and listen to a book at least um, and those of you that say an audiobook is not the same as a book you be quiet we don't need that kind of negativity here it's like I need to ingest a book and sometimes the only way I can do it is an audiobook because of time and because I want to do knitting too or sewing or something that involves my hands get on thank you if it's an ebook you can set it to auto scroll oh I never thought of that it 
Scott says, I wish I could spin more, but I do get a few hours in a week. The reality is I get the majority of my craft time during these live streams. Um, sometimes at night, depending on what's happening, but sometimes at night I'm just doing website maintenance or, you know, other other things. Shintamiya says audios have a life of their own. Um, in our, in our Nina, in Anina, I hope I haven't destroyed your name there, says that they listen to audio books while they crochet and spin. Well, that's awesome. Um, that broke off. So I'm going to get that on and rejoin the fluff. So, so this castle dial that I'm spinning at the moment is a beautiful blend of, now I want to say merino and drysdale. I don't know if Wendy's still here. But I do have a little inf information thing. I'm just going to have a quick squeeze. It came with my fleece. Um, uh, no, it doesn't say. But I think that Castledale is a blend of Drysdale and Merino. I'm going to have it. I'm hazarding a guess. Or is it Leicester and... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I'd have to, I definitely need to ask. I've, 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 I've known the answer and I've forgotten the answer. Does that make sense? Like I remember being told, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, lols no from Beersheba. Castledale is Castledale. It's a secret blend of herbs and spices. Okay, okay, cool, all right. It is a special, special secret. It's not a crossbreed. So, well, at least not a crossbreed like that. I think I just heard my daughter trying to scare me. I'm really hoping it was my daughter trying to scare me and not someone else trying to scare me. Um... So do you guys have a, like a go-to, like some, some of you are writing in here that you do like your audio books. Do you like, if everyone who's listening or watching while you're crafting or whatever you're doing can just pop in if you prefer like audio books, books or like movies or TV or something or YouTube while you craft. I'd, I'm very curious because I do a big mix of all of the above. Um, it depends on my personal mood. Bear, Castle Dales are a line of sheep being developed at Beersheba Farm. Beersheba Farm. Okay. I'm so glad that Wendy was here to fix that because I just didn't know. I couldn't remember it. It's, well, yes, a crossbreed originally. Yes. Well, it would be, but that's not it now. Um, Kathy says, I also crochet while I listen to audio books. I found I get antsy when I'm sitting and reading a book. And that's the same problem I've been having because I've got a lot of dead tree editions, right? I like a good page. Hold the book in your hand, reading experience, right? So I've got dead tree editions, I've got digital versions, and I've got audio versions, right? Sometimes I've got multiple versions of the same book because I do reread my books as well. Over two under one. Um, so... In, in a Nina says I use YouTube for audiobooks. Awesome. Kathy says TV number one, audiobooks number two. Scott likes a true crime show. I can't deal with true crime. I cannot deal with based on true story things at all. I'll be sucked into something, won't know it's true story. Be like, this is awesome because I like crime shows. Um, and even if they're a bit scary and a little bit thrilling, um, I'm okay with that. The second they get to the end, I have to quickly turn it off because if they say these events were based on a true story, I have nightmares for weeks. It's just like, I'm okay as long as this was a figment of someone's imagination. But the second they say, no, no, this was legit and actually happened to somebody, I'm like, oh, nightmares now. Hang on a second. Yes, Abby. Very funny. I can still cancel your birthday party. Oh, 
Fuck you guy then, please. I don't know if Abby, if, if you guys can hear, Abby's talking to me through the window and she said to say hello to everybody. So those of you that don't know, Abby is my daughter. She is well old enough to know better. She's just gotten her learner's permit and is now allowed to drive a vehicle legally. We haven't let her yet because she broke her arm because she was being a numpty. Once she's out of her plastery thing, whatever it is, brace. Then I've got no excuse. <laughs> you guys can hear. Okay. <laughs> um, Chintoni says, I love to watch BTS vids and miscellaneous Korean and Chinese TV fantasy series. They're amazingly pretty to watch if you get the right one. I've seen some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Rebecca says, happy birthday, Abby. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. She's gone. But I'll tell her that you said it, Rebecca. She's, yeah, she's not going to make it to 17 the way she's going. Absolutely. Oh, Ruth, Abby's birthday was the 4th. Um, but because it was Easter Sunday, she decided to wait till she had her party until today. So she's, she's having her party on your birthday. I hope that's okay. I think I need a drink of water. Something that I really love, Scott has these amazing Twitch streams that he runs. So if you guys don't, if you like spindling and you want to see how Scott makes spindles, like you guys need to get in on his live streams. So he does those over on Twitch and over on YouTube. Um, I don't have the links handy, but um, if one of the mods could find them, that would be awesome. Um, and he has these things where people can like pay bits because on, on Twitch, it's kind of like a super chat sort of thing, but it's pay bits. And it's just like hydrate and he gets this reminder and he goes off and he has a drink. And I'm like, that is so cool. I like that. Especially considering, <clears throat> excuse me, what he's doing is so physical and like, you know, especially when he's like on the lathes and things like that. And you can just see he's just working so physically hard. He deserves a drink. I'm just sitting here spinning talking my throat needs a drink more than i deserve a drink if that makes sense now i was tossing up because i do have some pretty hand dyed fibers in my stash but i really wanted to spin this and all of my um actually not quite all but i spun it on the wheel just about all the castle dale I have is all undyed. So if you are coming to um, the fiberific workshops that are being held um, as part of Crochet Guild of Australia in June, there is we're doing Turkish spindling. We're beginners spindling class. You can sign up. I have spindles that you can borrow. They are the Marja Craft um, Turkish spindle. So that I've been able to get some class sets made up. Um, and so we've got some, they're on their way. They're, they're nearly here. I'll be able to take some photos and what have you later. Um, these are just to borrow. You can't buy these ones because it's a, it's just a class set. So I've got a class set so I can teach more spindle classes. Um, and so um, but I'll be making up some packs of fibres for people and I'm definitely going to be putting some Castledale into a little pack. I haven't checked with Wendy. Wendy, I'll be breaking some of this up and putting it into little packs um, for people to purchase on the day. Um, so uh, remind me to talk to you about that. I just had an idea and, and I was just like, mm, maybe I should run that by Wendy properly. Um, yeah, but I know that as a beginner, you want to try, you're, you're absorbed into this craft because of things like, you know, this, where it's beautiful and it's colored and, and I don't have any other handy to show you, um, but like all different pretty colors, but I personally prefer spindling on the white and then dyeing it because I like dyeing yarn and that's my thing. Um, then, you know, and it's just, it's just one of those things. Um, 
But if you were making packs, like for, for beginners, would you, as a beginner, like if those of you in the audience were brainstorming here, so those of you that are new, you might as well get used to it, I do it all the time. Um, would you prefer some beautiful undyed white or would you prefer something dyed? So, yeah. In your pack. Oh, I've got a little lump. Hang on, let's see if I can smooth that out a little. Oh, you guys. I'm due for more nails this week, right? But look, I broke my fingernail. And it broke right off and it took all my nail with it. I got just a little tiny bit. I was moving... Um, I was moving some Besser bricks because silly old Snowy keeps getting trapped under the shack and it's really hard to get her out. So we decided to block it even more so she can't. And I broke it on moving a Besser brick and it really hurt a lot. And I don't know what hurt more, the actual nail breaking off or me realizing my nail broke off and now I don't have a nail anymore after all the effort it's taken me to grow these silly things because <laughs> I'm a nail biter that's extraordinaire who's has getting some amazing help from a local nail artist so that I don't bite them <laughs> oh dear um <laughs> oh yeah I was supposed to look for that twitch link yeah no it's all good and Scott's on the Insta uh, YouTube as well so he does both, but I think the majority is over on Twitch. I could be wrong, but um, Shintami says paler solid colours are much easier as a beginner. Yep. Bub says I would prefer undyed sample bits to try different fibres. Yep. You could give them a bit of each dyed and natural I'm actually freaky. I love that idea. I love that idea a lot. Because then it's easier for them to see how their ply is looking. Oh, yes. That's a great idea. Then they can have a bit of both. Means we have to dye some fluff, though. We all know how I feel about fluff dyeing. I'm not good at it. I just realized I was spindling just like I do like a support spindle but without a bowl and that's like as I was saying that's one of the advantages with these Turkish spindles with their little double ended points is that you can totally do that oh that's a bit thicker there that's all right <laughs> handmade gets a bit thick and thin sometimes talk to me later oh okay <laughs> Did I miss much? Oh, well, you just missed like a 75% discount code. And no, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> I'm just mean. I'm just mean. Um, and the barber pole is not bad when it's even. And if we make them muted colours, it's not so um, distinct either. Um Snyder says, uh, yeah, mostly Twitch, but I'm going to try twice a week on YouTube. Um, if you go and check out Scott's F Snyder's Facebook page for Snyder Spindles, I think, I could be wrong, but I think there's a schedule up there. Um, you miss me being smarter than my usual smarts. <laughs> How do I pick which sheep I get to name? I want to see the babies. Are there babies right now? I don't know if there's babies right now. Yeah, you got to you missed Freaky being clever. I mean, that's that's never going to happen again. <laughs> oh dear. We're really getting through this, aren't we? I've just looked at the time. 
I'm watching the time, you guys. And today I have to be a good girl and be on time. Last week we went a little over. Because I've got to do things before Abby's party. So we're wiping down fans and mopping the floor and clearing the dining table. I don't want to clear the dining table. All my sewing stuff is on the dining table. And now I've got to clear it all off. So the sewing machine's been packed up. I'm very sad. Um, off topic question for two arctic wolves. Does anyone know where I can buy mini bags of dyed fleece for felting? I mean, I'm just going to throw out the standard. Have you tried Etsy? Because, um, two arctic, you're in the US. Is that right? Um, one, two. Um... Lambs in August. Yeah, I didn't think it was lamb time yet. Mmm, lamb. <laughs> oh dear. Spotlights. Oh, is that for the felting fibers? I don't think two Arctics is here. Um, The schedule is going up ne again next week. We're just getting up and streaming after not feeling well. Oh, did you guys have... Um, actually, we won't discuss it, but I'll, I'll ask you later. I'll ask you later. Oops. I should get myself organised to do the whole mini bag f stuff. Yeah, you totes should. You totes should. I'm doing a three-hour spindling workshop. If, um, oh, you're in New South Wales to Arctic Wolf. For some reason, I thought you were in the US. Gosh. Um, there's a few farmers around who do fleece, like Beersheba, you can buy her fleece. But is it, and you can buy her fleece um, dyed as well, I think. Yeah, you guys got the jab, that's what I thought. But I didn't want to risk getting the, you know, the little sticker put over our video by opening up that discussion. So I'll just ask you about it later. Um, <laughs> I thought Wolves was in the Arctic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I thought you were from the US. Maybe, did I know? I mean, I probably did know, but my brain's like... Let's spindle and try and watch a live stream at the same time. Oops, I'm just going to check something. It looked like my stream dropped. No, it seems to be going okay. All right. Um, Abby's probably inside using up all my internets. Even though I specifically say if the family's home on a Thursday, I get to hog all of the interwebs. <laughs> it's too cold for you. It's a bit cold in, in New South Wales at the moment, right, though? Like, we're getting a bit of a cold chill here in Queensland. We've been getting, like, 13 degrees overnight. It's been so nice. I love cold nights. Um, I sleep so much better usually. Not this week. I've got too much in my brain. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me? Don't get tangled down there. Just wind that on and rejoin. I got a little break. A little break. I shall fix it. Wave for two under one. Wave for two under. Okay. I'm just gonna pop my hands down because they're just getting a bit. Let's see how red my hand gets. That one's definitely less red. This one's more red. I mean. I can tell the difference. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mum loves it when it's just under 25. <laughs> I love it when it's 20. That's my favourite. Um, Freaky says, my plying is going good. I only broke once so far and not even halfway down. That is cool. Um...
the fiber was nice Easter pastel like color when mixed up so not pastel anymore and Kathy had snow overnight and it's snowing again for her oh my goodness I thought it shouldn't it be warming up for you Kathy like we're starting to get cooler now because we're heading into autumn and and winter Oh, look at that little spaceship dance. Mum lives in the Blue Mountains and loves, loves, loves winter. I love winter. I love winter. I don't like getting hot. I don't like being sweaty. I don't like being gross. I like winter at the beach, which sounds so dumb. It's because I don't swim. I don't swim at the beach. But I like to walk along the beach. <clears throat> and so I like being, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's just giving up. <clears throat> I like being all rugged up and, and smelling the crisp sea air and, and you know, I love the beach. Um, <laughs> now nah, we've got Canada's drunk weather all over our your lawns. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so awesome, John. We had real warm late March, early April. Now we're back to March weather. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't like humidity. <clears throat> That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. I can handle, every time I think about it, it's, I think about a skit by Jeff Dunham about it's dry heat. Every time it just jumps straight into my head. Um, I would definitely prefer a dry heat over a humidity. Um, I don't know which ones my lungs prefer though. I think my lungs just prefer cold weather. Although it gets the air gets a bit thin for my poor old broken 70% capacity lungs if it's too cold. Um, I just don't like, you know, it's all bad. Let's just go with it's all bad. All weather is yucky. It's never what we exactly want. Um, I'm more than happy to share the Canadian weather. I always laugh at the people who hate summer complaining about the cold. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can... I complain about the cold a bit in Bendigo because it's just really cold. That's, like, insanely cold. Like, you know, for Australian standards. She doesn't like humidity, lives in a rainforest. You Pretty much. Pretty much. I like to be warm, not too hot, and definitely not too cold. I know, it's the whole Goldilocks thing, isn't it? I mean, as long as I've got access to air conditioning and a ceiling fan, I'm pretty well happy. It can get up to 42 degrees in the summer, but it's a dry heat. Yeah, for Queensland standards. <laughs> yes. People complain about the heat when it's not the cold. Yeah, there's always something. It's just the weather is something easy you can complain about. It's not It's not picking on a person. It's not picking on politics. It's just like, how's this weather? It's rubbish, right? It's rubbish. Got that triple camera action going today. Feels a bit weird. Don't know how I feel about it yet. What do you guys like? Do you guys liking this extra camera angle? I've been inspired by Scott. Scott's like 14 camera angles. <laughs> it's not. It's not that bad. It's just, it cracks me up. It's got an angle for everything. I think it's awesome. Which is why I'm copying it, obviously. um it's really cool oh that's good as long as i remember like to keep my hands in out of the like out of the way snyder is so snick sick of snow i bet you are <laughs> sorry i read kim's comment first and then had to go back and work out what on earth is going on in my chat. 
Yeah, Sally, your, your autocorrect is going insane. Also, what have you been typing that, that thinks that's the right answer? <laughs> it's only seven camera angles. Sorry, Scott. Sorry. <laughs> 11 billion camera angles. Um, Liz, Liz B says, basically, my body copes between 22 and 27, anything out of sight of that, and it misbehaves. <laughs> John, <laughs> I don't know what YouTube's going to do if you guys keep writing that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you just literally typed it out wrong. Oh, God. Wow. Kim was telling someone that the goal in live stream is to try and make me laugh, and I think that did it. Oh, my gosh. Good job, John. Well done. Snort laugh, yep. That's on YouTube forever now, isn't it? Unless I delete it. Unless YouTube deletes it because of random band names in the chat. Oh dear. Well, I mean, you 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 came up with it originally, but John decided to make it a band name. We keep typing that and YouTube's going to suggest your videos to the wrong sorts of peeps. Yeah, and they're going to click away and they're going to be like totes disappointed because it's not what this is about. They're like, that's not what we're spindling. Brr, nope. Um, I'm finally awake just as the live stream is coming to a close. Yeah, you've got like 15 minutes. Get some more twist in there before I lose it. I made it too long. I got sucked into that one, didn't I? Need more twist. Tell you what, my arm's going to be sore later. Be like, you had a workout. Lucky I'm not wearing like one of them smart watches. It does count this kind of spindling as a workout. You did weights. Hells yes, if you knew how heavy this arm was. Um, new stalker for Scott. I quite often lurk in Scott's Scott streams and stuff like that. I sometimes say hello. Sometimes I just sit there like a fish, just with it on while I'm doing stuff. Just while I'm doing things like exciting tax returns and paperwork. Oh, run your own business, they said. It's fun, they said. Oh, yeah, tax returns. GST, all the exciting things. I'm up to the bit that my hand made sweaty and gross. Lurkers are welcome. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. I think it's good to be able to lurk because we don't always have the time to to type and sometimes I'm on my phone and messaging on my phone is annoying especially if you want to like write someone's name because on your laptop right 
you can just start writing a name and all the names that are near it that are currently in the stream are right there so you can just click one on your phone you can't do that you've got to type it out exactly the way they've got it written and if it's someone with a big long name you just like Chantel Hills dash fiberific like that's annoying right Oh, yeah, yeah. Then there's the whole thing. Don't have enough hands because you're spinning. Absolutely. Did I break the internet again? Yes. Always trash in the internet. If you just do the first word, it still tags. Are you sure? I don't know if it does. Not from a mobile device. Chantel test. No, that did not highlight. It's just, it's not yellow. It's just. Maybe if you capitalise the Chantelle, it might do it. I don't know. Look at all these things that we do during a spinning live stream. Rebecca's trying to be good. I don't know why, Rebecca. Honestly, none of us are. Okay. I am going to... finish my spin length for the day my arms getting sore do you guys have any questions for Scott here and I think Wendy's still lurking around with her beautiful fleecy bits like how nice is this I wish that you guys could touch this it's so soft but it's also got like a good staple length it spins beautifully I don't know any I don't know how to describe it any better I love it I absolutely love it and I think that you know you should all have a go with some Castledale and Duchess Duchess is a Castledale blended with silk if she's got any of that get your hands on that too that stuff's great goodness me okay Wendy's still lurking be a Sheba farm so do you guys have any questions for Wendy or Scott because we've got them they're here they they made it to the stream so you know why wouldn't we ask all the questions sorry i was just i had this feeling that there was a light off in the background but it's on it's just dull um so we know that the castle dale is a special blend that wendy has been working on and um, and that Scott has got these beautiful gliders. Scott also makes other spindles. So if you are not a Turkish spindle spinner and you like a drop spindle, um, he also has beautiful drop spindles that he get, he laser etches with all sorts of crazy stuff. And he's got these ones. I don't know what they're called. So Scott or somebody who knows, they're they've got they're like a cog. They're like a, a cog all around the edges. And with the, with the, the the they're a top whirl spindle. And those ones are fantastic for ply on the fly if you want to try ply on the fly with a drop spindle rather than a Turkish spindle. If we sponsor a sheep, does our wool come clean and prepared? Um, that's an excellent question. I think I know the answer, but I'll wait and see if Wendy has a response for you. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking no. It says fleece, not top. So I'm thinking you get a bag of fleece because I know I can buy fleece So um, from Wendy as well. I have a bag of it in my craft room, like a, a nice big like squishy bag of, of I think it's Castledale. But unprocessed so it needs wash and it needs me to spin it um Lisby still has a full out packer barely touched um 
alpaca fleeces basically to start spinning those they're basically already in their little oh, i don't have my second hang on second camera boom, boom, boom. here we go um they basically come in their fleece pieces and it's just dusty there's no grease it's just dust so so outside um you know definitely you can you just you pull it off and wave it around the dust comes out um or you can wash it if you want i don't i mean i'm allergic to alpaca but even before i realized what was making me sick um i didn't wash the alpaca before i spun it i just flick brushed it and it released all the dust out um because alpacas dust bathe um we have a response from beersheba um she can't get specific fleeces processed individually but they are also um but there are alternatives so um yeah Snyder, scott says the 45 is made for plying the fly i do my plying the fly on a turkish rather than a drop spindle i like to do it on a turkish this is this is plying a fly i also worked out how to do plying a fly on a supported it required you need a pin but you can do plying the fly on a supported i made I, before i went off and taught workshops on it i wanted to be able to answer all the questions so i wanted to trial all the things so i dug out a drop spindle and i only own one turns out um as a top well so i couldn't do a bottom well ply on the fly but i could you know all sorts of things um the laser engraved gear that's the one i'm thinking of yeah the 45 is made for is it so it's the 45 the gear is that is that what it is um I could do a bidding war for my fleece and use it to sponsor again. You could. Can you ply on the fly when using a wheel or an electric spinner? I'm going to go with no. Because you need to spin it and store it somewhere until you've got a long enough amount to chain ply it and then bring it onto the bobbin. So... I'm going to I'm going to say no at least I can't think of a way that doesn't mean it can't be done it just means I can't think of how to do it um so yeah but yeah you'd need something that you could unless you had Margie Craft have a um have a like a spindle with a, a spike on it and it's for long draw and you could let it wrap around the spike a bit because then uh, then you can ply it and then wind it onto the bobbin um so unless you had a oh my brain won't tell me what the name of it is the spindle it's a it's a special bobbin that I, i'm sure other companies do but Marja Craft do one that is a small bobbin that you actually screw a um a long metal spike onto so don't bump into your spinning wheel um and you could wrap it around the spike and then ply it and then draw it onto the bobbin you could do that if you wanted i suppose um every time you say ply on the fly i think of the song pretty fly for a white guy oh dear okay definitely not singing that um You'll have to think of how a way to get... No, it's not going to happen. Um, oh, a quill. Thank you. But reversing direction on a quill would be a pain. Yes, it is. I think you're just better off um, filling a bobbin and then chain plying it rather than doing it in one go uh, on a wheel. Um, yeah. I think... I mean try it if you've got a quill attachment for your wheel give it a whirl and see see what happens the worst thing that happens is it doesn't work and you've wasted a little bit of fluff you know like this is the thing like be brave and like i'm i'm preaching to the choir here you guys are all awesome and you step outside of your comfort zones all the time but just give it a try and if it doesn't work it doesn't work and it's okay it's not life and death um but yeah 
So is that on the, the play? So we have a playlist, a Spotify playlist that Kim started up for our retreat. And some of the music on that, honestly, is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Give it a whirl. Absolutely, Snipe, Scott. Snipe Spindles. <laughs> um, Sally's going to check. And if it's not there, she's going to put it on. Oh, dear. <laughs> How many hours of music have we got on that playlist now? We're going to have like start it up Friday and just have like new songs all weekend. Is that what's going to happen there? That's certainly the feeling I'm getting. It's certainly the feeling I'm getting. Oh dear. Oh no, John, that's, and then there's chain to the wheel. There's so many songs. Pretty fly for a fine ply. Oh my gosh. Wow. About 30 hours. Yep. That's a lot of music. That's a lot of music. Okay, my friendly friends. Don't forget Instagram competition over there. Make sure you're following Fiberific at your friends. Um, I have to go and double check to make sure I have put all the correct wording in. Because um, now I'm freaking out thinking I'm going against some sort of Instagram terms of service and I don't want to do that. Um... I am going to be off the airwaves for the rest of the day because I'm getting all the things organized for Abby's birthday party. Um, and then I will catch you all later on. Um, it's it's going to be a fun week next week. A big, big, big fun week. I hope you all have lots of fun playing with your spindles and your fluff. And I hope that you get your hands on some delicious Castledale like I have or a Snyder Spindle because these things are amazing. They're all handmade. Um, I mean, they use power tools, but they're made by humans. They're not just like, you know, there. It's, you've got to, you've got to have a try. Like seriously, if you haven't tried a Scott Snyder Spindle, you need to try a Scott Snyder Spindle. So I'll catch you all. Next week, next Thursday is our next live stream. Um, and if you've got any questions, go and um, hit up Beersheba Farms or Snyder Spindles over on Facebook. Um, they can answer all of your questions. Um, otherwise, you can pop them into the fun zone. And I'm not sure if they're both members of the fun zone. Anyway, we can get the questions to them somehow. So have a good one. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now.